Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons, the DLC. Yeah! On K-Wings Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more uh, Minecraft Dungeons arrives. Special shout-outs to all of our members, including our ultimates, if you guys want to hop aboard the membership train. All you gotta do is click right here and select the tier that works best for you. Okay, so how do I explain this? Uh, more or less, I had to go and grind my character up using a pretty crazy method, which you can actually go to our Twitter and see uh, my insane exploits from the other day. And um, it was kind of crazy. So, in order to access the new DLC, which is called uh, the Jungle DLC, you can see there's going to be more DLC here. There is the oh creepy winter gosh. thing that's DLC. And you've got... Uh, Oh, this is just the mainland. So this is where the main story was. And no, we didn't find all the secret levels. You can see they're locked. They show you secret mission now. So you can know where they are if you go through and try to play through the game again to um, get more content. But now you've got DLC stuff. So, um, like it says that we have enough attack power, we should be good. So let's uh, jump into this and uh, see what the DLC is all about. Ready? I hope so. The orb of dominance may have shattered, but its powerful shards have scattered across the vast overworld. One of those shards has landed in the lush jungle, where new threats roar to life beneath the dark canopies. The shard, the source of corruption, must be destroyed to free this land from the orb's dark manipulations. Your way up. All right, so this is the dingy jungle, and uh, it looks pretty dingy. It looks pretty dingy. I'm not seeing any story or anything, so I guess this is just like additional missions or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure actually. Well, we know the whole point is to hack and slash and make our way forward, but yeah, I don't know what the story is about. Ah, uh, ooh, it's a it's cheetah. Just... Oh, Sorry. there's a dead cheetah now. It was a cheetah. It was a cheetah, and then Amber was like, Kitty! Whoops. Nope, spiders. Well, Waves now I kind of crazy figured out enemies. what my moves actually do. I guess I have a Y button that I can roll into enemies. Yeah, it's kind of like a sun ability. I still have my weird um, eye laser thingies. <laughs> Cyclops powers. But I would have appreciated, like, some type of narrative for the DLC. Oh. Like, what's our objective? Do we have to fight all these enemies, or can we, like, leave some of them away? Uh, our strategy would be different. If we have to fight all of them, we should have to, like, leave some of them back. That's a very good question. I don't really know. if we have to defeat all of them, then we should leave them back where we can fight them better. Because we don't want to fight them all at once. That's true. I'm not seeing any enemy generators, so I don't think they respawn. There's something here to pick up, but you don't have to. Oh, for me? Mm. Thank you. To. Well, usually the arrow points the direction that we need to go into. Um, I would be on the lookout for anything that looks like a cage or something, because that's what's known as an enemy generator in this game. And that way we can prevent them from respawning. Okay, a cage. Yeah, it looks like a, a metal metal cage thingy. What the heck is that? A cheetah with a, a weapon? That's new. Okay. Yep, and you remember how to shoot people, so you're doing great. Um, and I have my fireworks. Fun. Oops. Yep. Cheetah! Oh Maybe no. we'll have to go, like, sneak around the long way so we don't get destroyed. I don't know. What's considered the long way, though? Well, no, I mean, like... Instead of going right for if we see an arrow, maybe we can like go around. You mean like explore and stuff? Yeah, like go different ways so we can like go the sneaky way if there is a sneaky way to get somewhere so we don't die. I'm very mm. nervous about dying here. Uh, okay, so this was a dead end. I don't want to go towards more enemies. I'm scared. Ouch! I mean, there's really not that many enemies anymore. Ooh. We'll see. Okay. And I'm not seeing any enemy generators either. Interesting. I mean, there's just a decent 
Well, not even a decent amount of enemies. There's... Uh... I'm just gonna be honest, people. Right now, there is. Like, when we first tried this, when it came out, uh, there was, like, enemy generators or people like crazy, and our characters were too under level to play it. So, I had to do some crazy grinding exploits on social media just to you, show... You're saying they, they changed it, possibly? It's possible that they patched it, or maybe we picked a different difficulty or something? I don't know. But there's really... We were overwhelmed by enemies, like, but so we were, early on. But we were on the lowest difficulty. Or it wouldn't let us do it on a different difficulty before. Right. I don't know what's going on. But there's still no story narrative to give us any idea what we're supposed to be doing other than just getting to that little, uh, uh yellow thingy, my bobber. I really hope they don't add a story later after we've already shown the DLC or something. That'd be kind of sad. I mean, maybe I can find, like, some cutscenes online and I can paste it at the beginning so at least the audience will know what's going on, even though we have no idea currently. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Boom, baby. That's what you get, fools. How do you like that? It feel good? It feels wonderful. What did it say? Pass the stronghold or press the stronghold? I don't know. Look like pass. Cheetah power. Pass and stow. Pass and stow? From the, uh... That history movie. I forgot what it's called now. National Treasure? Yeah. Yeah. History movie. <laughs> you called National Treasure a history movie. I couldn't remember. Yes, what it was they, they show that movie in U.S. history. It's very authentic. Well, I'm sure they do show it in some classrooms. I would hope so. It's a good movie. We wasted yeah. so much time in public schools. It's ridiculous. Every time I watch, every time we're sitting there and we watch something like The Little Mermaid, I just pound my head on my desk because I'm just thinking, I could be at home uh -oh. watching The Little Mermaid on my bed instead of Whoa. being stuck here at school doing it. So annoying to me. I hate having my time wasted. I know you do. It's really annoying. Like, I had half a mind to ask teachers, like, sometimes if they would be like, Well, we don't have anything else yet to do for today for school, so... There we go! We're just gonna watch The Little Mermaid. It's like, well, why can't we just go home then? Uh, because, I mean... Uh-oh. Amber, fall back, fall back, fall back! Oof. That could have been bad. I have a bad. bomb, too. Oh, you have a bomb, too? I wouldn't throw it up the stair- uh oh Sorry. I already did. No, that's okay. There was nobody there. The thing that I'm concerned about is that it would roll backwards and destroy us all. But yeah, I got super annoyed if they would do that in school because it's like, what's the point? I guess they're trying to do bonding time where we do something fun in I, school. I don't know. I mean... I just, I felt like it was a waste of my time because it was just like... Well, that's because you were like a, a super student. Like, I actually yeah, kind of liked when they would do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm probably the opposite. Cause... You are the opposite. Even when I was doing my culinary stuff, like, uh, if we would have, like, a, quote, easy day where we would just sit there and work on making flowers. It would drive you crazy. Yeah, I would get annoyed because it's like, I'm not learning anything. Why am I here? All right, I'm just uh, going to interrupt real quick. I think that the whole point of this is, yeah, hit that. I'll deal with these. Ow, these guys out here. I think the whole point of this is to hit those little switches to open the door. But at the same time, it's making all these enemies pop up. Well, I guess you I mean, and I really are opposites. Opposites attract. Wait, how are we supposed to get in there for that last switch, though? Oh, I see it. Wait, no, know. that's that's not it. Maybe there's a hidden door. I there's think we need to go through here and then try to find another switch back here. Okay. Out of my way, zombies. Seriously. I mean, I don't mind, like... Step off. Yeah, bye bye. Explore the jungle. I just would rather be home. I didn't like the desks at school. They're so cold to sit on. Oh my gosh! What? New enemy. It's like a glowing werewolf thing. It's dead now. Oh. <laughs> it looked pretty intense though. What? Now we're fighting trees. Amber leveled up. Wow. By fighting trees! Ents. I don't know if they were trees, or ants. They look like Christmas trees. Do you see anything that looks like a switch or something? There was nothing over here. Well, that's lame. Well... I know, I right, know. Zelda? I guess it's kind of... 
weird, but you know how I've been wanting to try, like, Tai Chi and stuff like that? Like, to uh -huh. do exercise in the morning? Well, I found a video of a lady that was... that teaches Tai Chi, so I was trying to, like, look at her video to see what she does, just get an idea of it. Mm -hmm. And then she started talking about her... Which, I'm not gonna, like say anything bad about it because i'm not sure i mean i don't want to say anything bad about people's belief systems or anything but she basically it was i think i stumbled on the wrong video of hers because she was explaining how to talk to trees and that they have a language and stuff and i was like okay well this isn't the video i'm looking for you're on the but, weird side uh, of youtube again yeah she was explaining how to talk to trees that's why i mean she said they have their own language but you just have to listen really hard my, I was like, okay. My grandma had a cool Tai Chi tape from the 90s by David Niven, who was like this... Or not David Niven. Um, David... Oh, I can't remember his name. It started with a C. He was a, he was a martial artist who um, was very big after Bruce Lee. He was an older gentleman. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's still... Oh, they, Cardigan, I think was his they name. They actually have free videos of it on yeah, Amazon I, Prime. Yeah, I tried to watch some of the ones on Amazon Prime. I don't think you would like it because it's kind of Tai Chi for the elderly. <laughs> that would work for me. Uh, I need to start slow. I need to start slow. I don't, okay. I don't, I don't think you would like it very much. It's no, not... I pinned one. I, I added one to yeah, it. Yeah, I, I know you did. I saw it, but... Okay. Yeah, most of the Tai Chi that they put That's is, like, level. elderly exercise because... I'm completely fine with that. Okay, alright. It's not really... It's not like I haven't done elderly exercise before. When I used to hang out with the ladies' church group, like, before, I would... Most of those people were over 70. Elderly yoga. So then, no, we weren't... Also, I don't really do yoga for my own... Level reasons. up! Uh, Woo! But... I, if I would be stretching, I would do my stretches that I learned either in tennis or soccer. I don't, I don't really do yoga stretches. I don't believe in that. Mm. So anyway, um, what was I? Ow! Say? Now I got on the tangent. I digress. You were talking about yoga. Oh yeah, no. Uh, uh what tai I meant chi. to say was, um, no, what no, no, no. I'm talking about elderly people exercises. That's what we were talking about. Oh, that, that's so, what we were. Okay. Basically, when I was with that church group and I was supposed to hang out with the women's group or whatever, they would go to this one lady's pool or whatever. So we went there. And basically, we were in like three feet of water doing these weird stretches. And I'm sitting here like, great, so I'm supposed to spend time with this women's group. And I'm like 20 years old, and they're all 70. So, yeah, I did it. What was I going to do? I had to like continue to do it. But it was definitely kind of awkward. Awkward. <sighs> Welcome to the jungle. We've got Minecraft and games. Ow. I just... I'm sorry, but when you're 20 and you hang out with people over 70 and you're doing activities for old people, it makes you really hope you never get old. Well, you will get old. That's something we can never no, prevent. No, I plan on not doing that. Well, you've aged pretty well so far, but... I don't want... Don't say the word age! Stop it! Uh... What am I supposed to say? Nothing. <laughs> don't talk about it at all. I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> Stop talking about it! Let's change the subject! I didn't even do anything! I'm just cutting down trees with my cursed spear thing. Okay. I haven't done nothing. What are you doing, tree? Get out of here. However... Never mind. Forget it. Okay. I, I already I, forgot it. It's possible I'm not gonna say that trees don't have a language because I don't know. Okay, let's not get into the weird tree talking thing. That's just... They, Weird. They're scientifically shown to give off a specific vibration, so it could be them trying to talk. All living things, plant, animals, they give people, off a weird all vibration. give off a vibration of some sort. Yeah, but it doesn't. But, it doesn't mean trees can talk back to you. But trees are scientifically proven to make people feel better when they're around them. Well, they give off a very good vibration. That's because it's nature. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Trees give oxygen. That's why people need to plant more trees and be around them. I it agree helps. that we we need to plant more trees in it society. Helps it's a good thing. It doesn't. Careful, just help. careful. That's a cliff. It doesn't just help you breathe. It helps you feel better. Ow. You need to feel happy and be around trees. That's why I have so many trees in my Animal Crossing town. So my that's why my character is smiling. Ah. Why? Well, I mean, that what? Leopard was endangered. 
It was in danger of killing us. Mm -hmm. Uh. Can. I don't know where we're supposed to. Uh, we're going the wrong way. If we go down here, it's bad. Oh, we can't go down there anyway. We have to go back anyway, thanks, toward. Toward thanks for at least talking is. to me about my stuff that I like talking about. Don't I always talk to you about things that yeah. interest you? Oh. Pretty much. Wait, were we supposed to do that? Was that a white leopard? But not anymore. Do you still see... Okay, it wants us to go this way. So we'll go this way. I don't know why, but... That's not a good noise. Whenever I look online, like... And I'm looking at, like, basically big cats and stuff. A lot of the big cats they have in zoos... That they show in videos and stuff are like albino, albino tigers, albino lions. They don't really have that many albino tigers and lions in real life. They're like, uh, in, they're like in zoos, I guess. I guess maybe in the wild, if you were a an albino animal, you would stand out from the forest because your fur would be completely white, and you wouldn't be able to blend in with the trees. So then you would be destroyed. Mm. I'm wondering if you. I wonder if it's a not good advantage. You know what? I'll test that theory. I'll put some, like, very light-colored fur all over me, like a blanket, and then I'll sit out in the middle of the Amazon rainforest and wait for an hour and see what happens to me. Um, I don't <laughs> think that's a very good idea. <laughs> Sorry, little leopard. Oh, actually, no. If I was going to be a lion, I'd have to go to the middle of the Congo oh, wait a sec. jungle in Africa. I think I have new armor that's based on the DLC. Yeah, I have leopard armor. Ooh. Wow, that's dumb. Well, there you go. You guys can see it's it's called the <laughs> leopard armor. You kind of look like a... No. You kind of look like an older woman that's wearing all, like, leopard print dress. Yeah, I'm, I'm good looking like this. <laughs> Not happening. Hey, you look so fashionable, Luke. No. Wow. No, I, I don't. No, no, no. Don't like that. Okay, stop. Let's go forward. Okay. Okay, so I think there's like a creepy monster growling somewhere. What is up with leopard print and women always wanting to wear what leopard print? I guess uh, it's a thing. Because it's fierce? I don't know. Looking fierce. That's right. Do they still say that or is that not really a thing I don't thing know. Anymore? I think some people say looking fierce. I don't know. There's so many weird languages these days like isn't it strange that the word off has become oof like what yeah how has it become oof it's just oof it's what people why i don't know people add like extra f's to it and it becomes kind of like a face palm thing it's like oof when i was in school and you know like trying to i don't know the people that were trying to teach me like grammar and stuff in school would always tell me that you know like saying slang words and saying them out loud would contribute to the fall of modern society. And we don't even have slang words would, anymore, though. That it would eventually destroy um, the uh, the language of English and people would forget how to speak correctly. Oof. And then, uh, then our civilization would fall. So that's why they would... <laughs> That's why they would refuse to say any word that wasn't, uh, didn't have a definition and was slang. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of became, I used to kind of believe that. And this way. I became kind of lax over the years, but. Slang was fun, though. But yeah, People then don't I even use slang that, anymore. Then I realized that me not saying slang words uh -oh. and always saying everything exactly perfect kind of made me come across like I was kind of up, uptight, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Just a smidgen. But I didn't want to contribute to the fall of Western civilization. You didn't. By saying a slang word. People stopped using slang, though. They just Now they yeah. just do abbreviations of words, and it's... I Not still don't. Did you know that even abbreviations are actually technically slang? So like, could have, would have, should have. I wasn't talking your... about those abbreviations. I was, I was uh -oh. basically what saying, do you mean? like, they just take oh, words yeah. and they change their meaning. And they shorten the words. Yeah. Oh, I see. So not even that. They're so not, even not even full words anymore. That. No. I think this is the way we go. Oh, so far this DLC is actually pretty big. Like, we are 20 minutes into this level and there's no end of it yet. 
that I can see. Wow, I can just imagine you and I, if we, on an alternate Earth in which you and I actually were in the same, because it could have been possible we could have been in the same classroom at one point, but we never were. It would be so funny if you, like, were watching me across from you, and I was sitting at my desk, like, smashing my head against the desk while, like, we were watching The Little Mermaid in school. And you were just sitting there laid back, like, this is awesome. And I would be like, no, let me out. I would nap. <sighs> I couldn't nap because I was too busy staring at the clock and, like, telling myself, why, why, why? Yeah, Amber didn't know how to have fun until I came around. Not have fun. I have fun by winning at life. Oh, I see Once how it is. Once my work is done, then I can have the fun. You hid your little smile and your laugh from the rest of the world. And that's a shame. No, I hide it until my work is done, but my work is hardly ever done. Yeah, there you go. My work would have been done once I get all my scholarships and everything like that in like 40 years. Then I would have permission. Oh my gosh. To die. <laughs> no, then I would have permission to laugh. So no, I really didn't. I was waiting to laugh. <sighs> oh. And you're the one who's like making me upset because you're always making me do weird zany things like play this game, which makes me annoyed at you. Oh, it's a watermelon. That's interesting. Uh, I can't tell if this is right so or after wrong. After this, I'll just read a book on string theory. Huh? It'll make it fine. I don't know. That's what I feel like. I, I've been trained so much in school and stuff that like you can't have fun unless you do something horrible that you hate afterwards. That's weird. I know. So, I can never really relax, ever. Alright, we did something wrong. Let's go back. We need to find where that monster is growling, and also, we should probably go back and see if there was one last door that we could open that was over here. Uh... I think it was over this way. The ruins. I don't think this game gives you a map, does it? I don't believe so. Just kind of... lets you go wherever you want to go. Uh, I don't know. It's a wonder that you actually like me, because a lot of people in my school don't really like me. They think... I don't know. I think they don't know what to think, because I'm just... Weird? I seem really odd all the time, like... When I'm having fun, when I can actually relax, I'm fun, but... I don't know how to help myself relax. I don't know how to allow myself to relax. That's my problem. Yeah, see how this door here is shut? Like, how does one open that? Do you see how anything? How does one? How does one open that? That doesn't do anything. Must be something we missed because... Oh, wait. Ooh. There we go. You found it. I did to find it. What did that do? I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. There's something coming. Oh, my gosh. That's not good. Well, I still- I still think it's a waste of time. Like, I don't think I'm the only one who gets annoyed when people watch movies in school. That was just for money? It's ridiculous! Alright, let's go. Well... But for some reason, when I would watch a documentary in school, I'd uh -huh. be relaxed. Because I was like, aha, I'm watching a movie, but it's still not fun. So now I feel like it's justified. Oh my gosh, that's how we put the map on! <laughs> oh yeah! Where are we supposed to... Oh, whatever. I guess we'll figure it out. Let's go this way. So that... So I've, I've discovered that the natural state of me... Okay. Do you what? hear how there are drums now? Like, this must be the right way. Yeah, I can hear the drums. This doesn't sound good. I'm scared. Oh, we're ready for it. I'm not Look, worried about it. I'm gonna it. get you a drum so you can practice every day. No, I don't. Like a big bongo thing. No, I used to have bongos. I had to sell them when we got married. Well, then I'll just buy it for you again. No, I don't I don't have room for that stuff. We'll just put it right here. There's room oh right next gosh, to the couch. Oh my gosh, no, no. Everything what? needs well, to be spaced out evenly. I don't... My oh next... my gosh. It's not fair. Every day, every year, every time people visit. Oh, you're gonna play your drums again? No. 
I don't have room with all the stuff my wife has. It's like, no, it's not the stuff ah. my wife has. It's a small apartment, and we had a lot of stuff from our bigger apartments. Also, we it's, moved. It's, we moved from Boston, where we had a nice place we lived in. It's also hard to have things like bongos and drums because neighbors. No, I was gonna say the main thing is the cats. They'll, oh my gosh, they'll destroy yeah. Destroy them. When we first got married, we didn't have cats, so Zelda. Yeah, just... and we have two really pretty chairs that we got that were like. Yeah. These basically really tall chairs that we got from Target that had these really cushy seats. I on. built them. Luke built them, and they looked really nice. Like they look like a, they could go in a nice. You know how Target has things that are relatively cheap but relatively nice, mm -hmm. so it could fit in a nice environment. You said you said nice like repeatedly. It looked nice. Okay. So basically, you know, like our cats just clawed them, and now they're destroyed. I don't even know what to do, because like they still. All right, we're going function. the right way. They just have hole punctures all over them. They don't look nice anymore. Okay, you just said nice like six times in a row. Fine. Why do you always do that? You repeat words to like hammer your point. Like, I don't yeah. like when people do that. There are YouTubers that do that too. It's like, come up with different words to say. There are different words that mean the same thing that you sound more intelligent. Fine. They look classy. There you go. Okay, so... This is totally the right direction, because we are meeting a lot of resistance. Oh, that's a Venus flytrap. Not anymore. Hey, not everyone is good at writing master reviews like you are. Came with a lot of practice. You have to remember that I started writing for blog sites first before I ever got into the video scene. Kind of your fault that I, I did the video stuff. I actually have an app on my phone now that uh, gives me like Santa Claus five new words a day, and it helps me like learn them so I can put more vocabulary okay. words. Before we go in there, let's let's continue on a little bit, and then we'll go inside the big creepy cave building. I finally realized what I digress means. Because before I thought it just meant I've been talking for a while, but that's not what it means. It has a meaning. Ow. It means, like, I have taken, like, a wandering path in my train of thought. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh, I almost died. That would have been bad. Usually the way that I learn words is I just remember, like, oh, people always say this when they've been talking for a while. So I assume digress means I've been talking for a while, but that's not really what it means. Really? Just bread? Yummy. I'm well, glad you enjoyed so, it. Yeah, I'm glad to get this app on my phone where I actually can learn new words and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then Luke won't get mad at me for repeating the same words. You hear that creepy breathing stuff? I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight some type of boss or something? I don't know, or... Okay, yeah, that's... that's messed up. Trees, go away. Look, trees are our friends. Go away, trees! They help us feel better. Show yourself, creepy breathing voice! They have uh -oh. healing properties, and they help make oxygen. The world needs more trees! Did you know you can actually... Like, some people said there are certain things that are in water that give you oxygen as well now. Like, what? that you breathe. Not in the water, well, but I like... I can't breathe water, I'm not a fan. Oh my gosh, there it is! Get it! Really? That was it? Monster. That was anticlimactic. Watch out for the exploding cactus things. Oh, really? Hey, now. Again? <gasps> Watch out! Watch out for that! Well, there is one person that trees don't heal, though. And that's George of the Jungle. Trees and him don't have a good relationship. He lives, though. <laughs> All right, let's move forward. Yeah, I know we passed on a, a door, but that door is probably just like another part of the dungeon. We're just trying to get through this forest because that's the whole point. Right? Exploding weird things. That's right. Exploding weird stuff. Yeah. You know those huge like, uh, there's like these trees that are really famous for being like five feet across or whatever, and like m I don't know if they're like. A they're like hundreds of feet tall or something. Well, there's some people that believe that, like, 
Uh oh. Either like thousands of years ago or something that like all trees used to be that big. Like they were huge. But like for some reason, like I guess people chop them down or something. So now we only have wimpy trees left in the world. Now we only have wimpy trees? That's Which could explain why the oxygen is... Really, I mean, everyone's talking about, like, I mean, I understand it's not good to, like, you know, pollute and stuff, but... Looting and polluting is nope. not the way. Yeah. Here's what but Captain Planet has to that, say. Yeah, just as a... Because since I work for Captain Planet now, I just wanted to make the statement that, um... People need to make more trees. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm just saying, like, people are saying, like, well, all this pollution depletes the, you know, ozone layer and stuff, but if you want to make, like, more good oxygen and stuff, Ow. plant more trees, yo. That's what you have to do. Yeah, that's a new enemy type. It's like a kind of a Hulk like plant like creature. You're wasting all your oh. stuff. I don't really know if the ozone layer could. Like, that ozone, like, barrier could be remade with more oxygen. I don't know. Mm hmm That's something interesting. Move it, Planty. Planty. Wow, these levels are pretty impressive. Ooh! Oh, wait, no, Enderman. Watch out! Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, gosh. Level up! Good job, Amber. I'm just on adrenaline here. I'm scared on my mind. Yeah, he's not the funnest guy in town. He has arrows in him. I shot him with arrows. Good job. He's almost dead. <gasps> he's coming! Good job. It's creepy. You can take that bow. I'll I get will whatever take this it. Is. Sweet. Rightfully mine. Wowzers! Ow! Did I just die? No. I'm okay. Keep moving. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of an unpopular opinion, but... Ow. You know, like, how people say, like, well, there shouldn't be any zoos because, like, the animals don't have enough room to move around? You know, you could easily solve that problem if a billionaire just purchased a bunch of land right next to every zoo and then gave every animal twice as much room to move around. Problem solved. See, this is why I should be the, uh, elected official. Elected official of what? Zoos? Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. They even have a job they, like That's that? what they should make more laws for zoos so that people, like, so that animals can be happier. Mm, yeah, but you have crazy people that believe that zoos are bad, but... No, but if they just gave them twice as much room, then you'd make everyone happy. You can never make everybody happy. Then. Really? No. You don't think the crazy people would stop? Because I like... Nope. I'm saying I like zoos because they're happy and you can show your, you know, younglings, like, animals and stuff. But, yeah, the animals don't have very much room to move around. But if you just purchase more land, then they would have enough room. Those same, fine. those same crazy people, like, they they got involved with the uh, uh, stuff that's been happening, like, out in public, and they, like, when people were, like, stealing stuff, they went into the zoos and they freed animals. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's not good. No, and some of those animals didn't make it back to the zoo. Well, you know, see... That's wrong. So, I used to be... Well, I've been crazy on a lot of different subjects in my life. Topanga. Yeah. So, I used to be somewhat crazy like that at one point, but then I realized... Then you a... settled down and met me. No. Oh. I No, I've, I've learned to not be crazy about a lot of things on my own. I can reason things through. Of course you can. So, um... Let's go. I was reading some stuff, and since the tigers are my favorite... Watch animal, out! Okay. I found out that, actually, if it weren't for zoos... Now, you guys can say as much as you want bad about zoos, but if it were not for zoos, number one, we wouldn't have really any giant pandas left in the world. Pandas! And number two, we wouldn't have any Siberian tigers, and those Ow. are the fluffy, pretty tigers. There's only 200 left of those in the whole world. Ow! Or maybe there's more now, but, I mean, there, there were, like, in 2000, there was only 200 left. But I'm just saying, without, hey. without zoos... You know, a lot of those endangered animals would be gone, so... Okay, I mean. careful. These are the exploding mean things. Oh, no! 
Oh gosh, what just happened to me? Where am I? Oh gosh! Okay, this is pretty intense now. Have we died yet? I don't think so. Uh, first time for everything. Uh, what the heck is that thing? They look like tree walks. All right. Jump, jump. Yeah. Well, I mean, we are we are inside these trees and Luke, stuff. Luke, you need to heal. Do you want this apple? Um, apple doesn't really help. I'll eat it then. I love apples. Apple like increases your attack power. I think. No, I thought it heals over time. No. What is that? Oh, that's yours. You want a weird leper print? You <laughs> you want to wear? It? I don't know. Well, is it increased armor? No. Then forget about it. Because we're playing this on a lower difficulty, so all the items are lame. I don't. Your I don't your pickups lower. your pickups are not that cool. Ow! Get out of my way! Oh, you oh, killed it. That's that's what I would do. I would be like, I would be like, here's twice as much land. Okay. And now the law is no one's allowed to argue about oh my gosh. this anymore. I would say no one can talk about it because it. Anti-zoo, like, no, talking anti law. No, anti-arguing law. Anti-arguing like, people law. People can't argue on Twitter about this anymore. Goodbye, free speech. We made a compromise. <laughs> yeah, that's basically, if I wasn't charged, there would be no free speech. Oof. It causes problems. <laughs> well, I mean, as long as there's laws in place to protect, like, I mean... No, there, people need free speech, but it need, is annoying, because people need, always use free speech to argue. They need, well, yeah, they need free speech, but... Like, looting and polluting is not free speech. Uh, attacking is not free speech. Yelling at people is free speech, because that involves speech, but... Um, other yeah. things not so much, so people just need to remember Getting what their rights the are. Cane is probably... Canes and, uh, you know, stealing people's, like, licorice. Also not a good thing. <laughs> licorice thieves. Someday, like... I'm not even know. big on licorice. Someday, look, when we're Ooh. both old, I'm gonna have a whole orchard in my back. You just said we weren't allowed to bring up the old thing, and what do you do? You bring up the- what is this? Uh, well, if we're both old. Oh, that's yours. Looks like a rhinoceros. Alright, let's see For what our- wing and guest. Yeah, let's see what our, our pickup is. So, what is that? Oh, that's a totem. A regeneration. I mean, that's the new leopard thing. All right, you hit up. I want to see your stuff. Up. Oh, look at that. Shadow Walker. That's that's like a bear. It's good. 23. Where? It's better armor than you got. I don't want it. It's, <laughs> Fine. Did you become a bear? Look at that. That look weird. You're... <laughs> Well, all the pickups are going to be weird. Look, it's a Minecraft game. I look very weird. Oh my gosh. I can't bear to wear this armor. Oh. <laughs> Here come the bear puns. <laughs> Why would they lead us all the way down there just so you could get a bear costume? I feel like... No, that's the wrong way. I feel like I'm at the bear minimum. Of okay. Right all right. All right. <laughs> I'll grin and bear it for now. Mm. Mm. Bear with me for a while while I get used to my new armor. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go this way on the trees. I'm very friendly with this. And Are fuzzy. you? Watch out for exploding cactus people. They're mean. I think the only people here is me, but okay. Well, I'm... Never mind. I mean, it's, it's a walking... What do you want me to call it? Like a walking... Uh... Cactus man? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm not Dan Rather. You're not the Question King. You know Is it 60 minutes? No. You know what I would do if, ah! I, if I was uh, president of the world? I'd be terrified. I would allow free speech, but... Oh, no. If you were mean, then you had to pay a fine. What? That's not free speech, then. No, nope, you still had to pay a fine. Like, what? No. If you, like, told somebody... Like, I don't like you, or, you know, like, got really mad at them, then you'd have to pay $2,000. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, I mean, that would solve the economy's, like, problem, but... <laughs> There you go. I mean, uh... there you go. I don't have to even worry about taxes. And there's no taxes. I'm just gonna tax, tax people for being mean. Wow. <laughs> In a world of my own... No, 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 no. Bad Amber. Let's go. <laughs> But you get free ice cream. 
That doesn't justify the... Survive the gauntlet? What is the gauntlet? Uh-oh, watch out. What is? What in the world is... Ooh, I'll take that. What That's is considered okay. the, the gauntlet? The money would go to help buy more land for tigers. Let's see. And everyone would be happy. More land for tigers? More land for tigers and all the other animals, too. Okay. Even animals that don't need a lot of land. Yeah, but the thing is, don't you have to keep the tigers and the other animals separate so they don't eat each other? Yeah. They have... Tigers have huge roaming areas. They're supposed to. I'm pretty sure that zoos sometimes do put a gazelle in the tiger area. Oh my gosh! I'm pretty sure they do. They That's have... not preserving the gazelle at all. Well, I mean, if they have some extra gazelles... Oh my gosh! Need... I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Circle of life. Circle of life. That's like having a zombie <laughs> exhibit and you just throw a person in there once in a while <laughs> oh to gosh. make the zombies happy. Oh my god. That doesn't seem right. And you Just, people laugh about zombies, but it's so engrossed in our culture, you know it's oh gonna happen God. eventually. Stop it! It's what? weird that everything that is in sci-fi eventually does seem to happen. Like, all that stuff that they talked about on Star Trek a long time ago, like, half of that stuff we actually ended up having. Well, kind of. I mean, we have a space force now. I don't know what they're gonna do, <laughs> but, well, uh... No, like, some of the technology and stuff that they showed a long time ago, we have, like, similar technology now. To some extent, but we're not, like, scattering our particle beams all over the place and teleporting. <laughs> We do have, like, small little phones like they mm -hmm. had. Yeah. But we still don't have the, like, lapels that you press and you, you know, it's powerful enough to tell people everything. Like, uh, powerful enough for you to, like, hear their voice, like, so clearly. You know? Just kind of muffled. My gosh, this place is amazing. They really went all out with this DLC thing. This jungle thing is very big. Into the jungle. Well, welcome to the jungle, Amber. It's not all fun and games. Uh-oh. Plants! The heart of darkness. Some uh, place I always wanted to go, the Congo. Why? Because it's the heart of darkness. It's like... Hardly anyone, like, makes it out of the center of that jungle. It's, like, so dark and... Why? Scary. There's so many, like, really, like, deadly animals in there that you can never let, let I, out. I, I, I understand that, but why would you want to go there? Just to say there? I went there! But the chance of coming back is very slim, so what would you do? Vlog from there or something? There's no, no just, reception. No, I was just gonna write about it. Like, oh, so you're, like Dr. You're assume, Livingston and you're, stuff. You're assuming that you'll come back from All that. those old, like, uh, explorers that used to go to the heart of the jungle and talk about it. Ah. I'd want to go on a quest, like, um... Uh, they had, uh, Abbott and Costello went to the heart of the Congo, I believe, one time. Mm. Well, I mean, maybe it was just a movie set, but they said they were there. They went to a movie set, Amber. And they found this huge giant ape. No, it was, a, it was a, honey, it was a movie. Oh. Yeah, this way. Luke, you're, you're breaking my heart here. I tend to do that. Well, actually, Ow. that guy Jeremy Wade, who's always hunting fish monsters, he went to the Congo. He found some really crazy fish there. I'll bet. What does this do? There's nothing here. What is the point of that? It's just kind of nice to look at, architecture-wise? I don't know. Oh, I always wanted to go there, because, um... That thing sounded like putties. There's all these, like... There's all these, like, crazy, like... S like, they say that there are, like, s like snakes that have, like, a... a they're, they're basically... Their mouth span is, like, several feet or something. Like, they're huge and they... Can, I wouldn't like, want that. Like, there's all these animals that nobody really knows about, and no one has really documented, probably because hardly anyone goes there. But it's like... There's a reason. I know, but I just wanted to go there to see if I can find a monstrous beast. Mm. Of course, if I saw one, I probably wouldn't come back from it, but... It would be awesome to see it before something happened to me. Okay. What? <laughs> Fine, I wanted to go there to find Mokale Mimembe. Yay, I leveled up! You know, you know what that is. Yes, I know what it is. Yeah. Is that That's what Amazon, it's to be. Amazon thing. It's supposed to be like a what dragon. Is, what is it? What is this? Thing. And some other, I mean, there's uh, a lot of other crazy animals in there. We have to position the faces to open the door. 
But yeah, that's what I wanted to do when I was younger. I wanted to go to Madagascar, which is the island off the coast of Africa that has lemurs. Then I wanted to go to the Congo. I wanted to go to the Amazon rainforest and... Oh, what the heck, I might as well go to the, um... Either, uh, the middle of Mongolia or the very northern regions of, um... Like, uh... Russia to find some Siberian tigers. All in a day's work. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Like, I guess you get, like, different faces to match or something? Try different His designs. So freaky. Alright, you try moving yours. I'll try moving mine now. Let that stay. Okay, that okay, didn't you work. Try you try changing your face. But we're doing the same at the same time. You keep changing your face. But Luke, we're changing it at the same rate. We're not gonna... This isn't mathematically gonna work. Well, how are we are supposed you to find it. some you type of combination? You should switch it twice for every one time I switch mine. Okay, one. Two. Two. Okay, now I'll switch mine. One. Right, now you do yours twice. Two. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna look like a moron. Wait, what? something happened! Ah! Wait! Why did the music just stop? I'll switch mine back. Uh oh. Too late! Oh. Survive the ambush! Ah! No, your, your, your probability thing works. Well, I figured I was just making a guess. It was a good guess. Oh no. You know what? I would love to w watch the movie. I'd love oh. to watch the um, librarian tonight. I don't think we have it. Watch more exploration movies. Watch more exploit. Just watch Indiana Jones. I've seen Indiana Jones like a million times. Haven't we seen like. Also, I won't be done streaming until like 1 a.m. Fine, I'll finish watching the that one movie, uh, the National Treasure Two. Me. Eh. I like every time I try to watch the movie, I fall asleep within 10 minutes. Mm. I don't know why that is. Seems accurate. Maybe the movie's. I don't want to say it's bad, but it's not bad. It's just not as good as the first one. <laughs> I don't know the one scene where he's making a scene where he's pretending like he's having a fight with his wife in like that one like really big important building whatever it is uh it just laughable Buckingham Palace because it doesn't make any sense I don't know what building they were in yeah they were in that famous palace in Britain that's the name of it right I think so yeah I think it's I don't know I where don't the know. queen lives I've never been there well obviously well, you should take me there, Luke! Why? Because I told you I want to go visit all these places! And I said when we're older and I... Don't... Why? Wait, 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 wait. Go through the gateway. What's the gateway? What is... Why would we need to be older? Because... I'm just gonna go there on my own. I'm gonna save up. Whoop. For the corrupting shard lies deeper still within the heart of the jungle. Corrupting what?! We're, we're supposed to find a shard now? The corrupting shard. Oh, whatever. Hey, it says the heart of the jungle. I know where that is. The Congo. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Look at that. I'm finally level 40, and you are, uh... Well, you're getting better. <laughs> Hooray! Yep. Come on, game. Anytime. Uh, that looks lame. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time as we continue searching for... Uh, whatever the, that is that we're supposed to get. Like, comment, Yay! subscribe, all that good stuff. And stay tuned for more Xenoblade, I believe, as we're doing the extra story still. And uh, be on the lookout for our newest Let's Plays of uh, SAO and uh, Paper Mario Origami king or something yeah! coming out later this month. Alright, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!